John Peña Garicano. I come from Bodega Cutain in Rioja, in Spain. And it's a pleasure to be here at Sheldon's Wines to present you our bodega, what we do, and our wines. So, Bodega Cutain is a very small familiar winery. It was founded by my father around 40 years ago, based in Aro, in Rioja where we are still a, a, a small familiar winery, we want to stay loyal to that. And the main characteristics of the Bodega Coutain is that uh, we do our wines in a chateau style. This means uh, we produce our wines only from our own grapes coming from our own vineyards, which is uh, very rare in Rioja. In Rioja, more than 80% of the grapes produced every year are produced by farmers who don't make wine. A consequence of this is also that all our vineyards are in the sur region of Rioja, Rioja Alta, and that's why we are allowed to put this in our labels, eh? which sur region of Rioja all our wines can come from. So, being a small uh, winery producing only 40,000 uh, bottles per year, um, gives us the opportunity to, 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 to follow the process from the vine until the bottle. Eh? And our idea is this, to keep this small production, what gives us the possibility to take care of the whole process uh, yeah, until the end. So, given the situation of Rioja Putain in Bodega Alta and given the characteristics uh, also of the winery, we have been uh, focused these last 40 years mainly in the production of red aged wines. We could start talking about uh, our main range. Uh, an example is this uh, Reserva from 2012. Uh, it's a red wine, uh, mainly Tempranillo a grape, 90% and 1995 and a slight part of Car Grenache uh, grapes. So this would be an example, a reserva with a little bit uh, more than one year of uh, time aging in the barracks. And another year in the, or, or more, in the bottle aging. Uh, aging in the bottle is also important for these red wines. And I think it's a, a very nice wine to, to, to pair with, uh, with some nice foods and so on. Another example of these uh, red aged wines that we have would be the, our Grand Reserva from 2004. Eh? This would be one step more in the evolution of these aged wines, more aging in the barrack, more aging in the bottle. Uh, we're talking about that 2004 is considered one of the three best vintages in the history of Rioja. Um, it's a very, very special wine uh, with a huge evolution. Uh, once you open it, uh, the, 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 the evolution when it starts getting oxygen, it's incredible. First uh, cup does not taste like the last one. We also, we are open to make uh, some new things. Uh, for example, this uh, Cosecha wine, Cosecha 2015, we launched it last year for the first time. It's uh, the first time we launch a red wine without aging in the wood. Uh, it is a young wine, as I said, no aging in wood, but it's still uh, um, loyal to our characteristics of uh, chateau style. This means the wine still only comes from our own grapes of our own vineyards and the wine is still 100% coming from Rioja Alta, eh? giving us a result, uh, let's say, a premium uh, young wine. Our guests arrived for the Bodega Aquitaine wine dinner at 7pm. The evening started with a glass of cava accompanied by authentic Spanish tapas. Reserva wine, this would be not really the next step in the barrel aging. The next step in the barrel aging would be the crianza. This, uh, well, by, it's uh, because of uh, sometimes calculating and logistics uh, it was not available there. I think Shadows is going to bring it for the, in, in the next weeks, months. But uh, that's why we decided to go with the Reserva, which would be another step forward in this aging. Eh? No, uh, in this kind of wine, you can feel more the aging. You start to feel an other, other uh, things in the wine. It starts to be a little bit more complex. Eh? Uh, uh, longer and, yeah, as I say, more, more complex. 
The evening began with a starter of Evesham asparagus wrapped in Hamon Ibelico Sibo, followed by a main course, which was a duo of Wrighton's lamb cutlets and beef strips, served with a baked potato gratin and a Rioja red wine jus. The evening finished off with a Spanish cheese board. John spent Saturday in store tasting a selection of his wines, including a couple of new wines which we've previously not stocked at Sheldon's. We tasted a, a wonderful new rosé, as well as a, a white wine made from red wine grapes. 